going to see my transition slides have a theme of waves. Why waves? Because AI is um, experiencing a wave of popularity across uh, the world right now. And um, that's very much true in healthcare as well. And you'll see the waves increase as we move on uh, in the slide deck. I want to start with why AI and why now for Memorial? So, so why? So first of all, there is a global shortage um, in radiologists across the country. There are a global shortage of physicians generally, but radiologists in particular. Um, and the impact of that is that um, there is a lot of work to do and not a lot of people to do it. Uh, one thing I wanted to share is a um, slide from the ACR. There's a screenshot about six months ago of the American College of Radiology job site and it shows that there are 1,701 available jobs across the country in radiology. And this was the same slide yesterday, 1,667 available jobs. So there's roughly 1,200 residency spots and a roughly 800 fellowship spots. What this is showing you is if every fellow came out of training, got a job, it would mean two years for two years no radiologist would be able to retire in order for those fellows to fill all of the open positions so tremendous shortage of radiologists out there in addition there's been a sharp increase in imaging volumes across the country for a variety of reasons the um, patient population is aging uh, patients are entering the healthcare system through the emergency department uh, a variety of different reasons but uh, we're experiencing increased volumes across the board in addition, the acuity index of that volume is increasing. What does that mean? Well, it means that the um, patients that are coming in are getting an increasing number of higher acuity exams. So rather than getting x-rays, they're getting MRIs, they're getting CAT scans, and these are more complicated to read, uh, and it contributes to the difficulty. Uh, in addition, um, there's a rising case complexity. The patients are older, typically sicker, have complex conditions and comorbidities, and again, contributes to uh, the challenge. Escalating urgency of presentation. Patients are coming in now, not through the outpatient imaging arena, but frequently through the emergency department. And that requires a more expedited interpretation. And so there's higher demand on the radiologists to reduce their turnaround times. Um, and finally, radiologist risk of multitasking. And this is a result of a tremendous number of different things that the radiologist has to do over the course of the day. And that includes interacting with technologists, reviewing and assigning protocols, reviewing uh, stroke patients that require immediate interpretation. You might be in the middle of one study and have to interrupt that study because there's a more acute study that needs to be interpreted quickly. Um, trauma cases where you might have eight or 10 CTs all coming in at the same time. All of these things are happening to the radiology uh, workspace and radiologists have to deal with them all while providing accurate, subspecialized, comprehensive, high quality reports. All of this contributes to an essential need for improved efficiency, of course, without any cost to accuracy or quality.